Now we are back using the trainee's credentials because we want to show again the log and inside we want to check uh, what has changed and of course verify that the document was actually posted when the manager approved it. So uh, we'll just uh, show another way in which we can open the, the inbox. We, um, we can expand the office uh, section here and this is the transaction we can just uh, execute to uh, get to our workplace, our and check our inbox and our outbox so it's transaction svwp and again we are connected as you can see with our regular uh, user which in this scenario is the trainee so let's open the outbox and let's select the started workflows so yes this is the workflow that we started when we parked the document of course we have the details here also at the bottom even here we can check that some other uh, steps have already been done but what we want to actually check is the log so with the line selected let's click display first we have all the work item attributes but let's uh, click on the workflow log to see the full steps and as you can see now actually it's interesting because all the status uh, are now uh, with, with the valid uh, uh, value which is completed even the overall uh, process is now uh, is now completed but what's important is the even the, the the screen looks different because we have some additional steps now in which well the, um, the approval has been set up the release flag was also set up when we click the release uh, push button and that just means that the system has also post the parked document already it's already po uh, post um, posted this document uh, the system has already done this and that's great because it, again it's saving time even for the for the manager or, or for the trainee because no one else has to come into a transaction and post the document now that it has been approved it gets automatically posted uh, thanks to the great uh, function of workflow so of course um, this particular workflow uh, is really useful for that scenario in which we want to control a bit more the training uh, uh, process of the trainees and because as well if was assuming something was wrong we just reject that and it will go back to the inbox of the trainee so that the trainee will just have to check of course the inbox uh, constantly but um, when they see that um, something was rejected and maybe even with an explaining note they will probably know what to correct maybe it was a wrong cost center they just modify the, the wrong cost center um, they park the document again the workflow actually the workflow starts again the manager will receive again the workflow item and they might now approve so this is great also just um, it's important for us to know that we have many different workflows uh, standard workflows this is one but we have some others and actually we can even create our own workflows so of course that is also important and, and interesting for the time being let's just uh, close um, this transaction uh, the the business workplace and with this we are finishing the lesson thanking you for all the attention